Huge population of India is living in the slums, which is one of the newest forms of urban habitation in the country. The people live in wretched conditions, devoid of electricity and even daylight. The cluster settlements restrict the entry of sunlight within the houses. The people are forced to do their daily household chores like cleaning, cooking in the darkness, even in the daytime. The innovative development by NV Institute for Rural Technology today is promoting daylight capturing for the rural and urban households in India through the microsolar dome. The honest effort of the institution is to extend light to the shabby, damp and wretched clustered houses in the urban slums. The scenario is quite likely similar in cases of the houses in rural India where the service conductors have emphasized on the habit to keep their doors and windows closed in many cases. NB Institute for Rural Technology has focused on the daylight capturing technology along with the photovoltaic technology in igniting the hope of new and a more comfortable life. With this innovation, NVRT has been able to provide light without the use of conventional electricity. These pictures show the benefits of using microsolar domes. Here, the first picture refers to the students studying under the light of the microsolar dome. You can see the microsolar dome being installed on a newly built terracinum based house. So the change for good is evident from these following pictures. Now let us see the basics on the tools that would be required during the installation of the microsolar dome upon the rooftop. First we get to see a jigsaw machine, then the sealant beta seal U418, a glue gun, and a drilling machine. The former required for the ancestor sheet rooftop and former for the GCI sheet rooftop. Now we proceed on the procedure to install the microsolar dome. The simple work requires immense precision else there might be problems with leakage during the rainfall. The former are the dummy tube that has been made before for the ease of marking which is now placed on the roof and a circle is drawn around the former or dummy tube with a black HP pencil to mark the area that has to be cut. Once the circle is made, drill a hole on the rooftop within the circle. This hole will be required to pass the jigsaw blade that will be used to cut the sheet. Take care that the hole made is enough for the size of the drill bit that is to be used. The sheet is now cut using the jigsaw. Care should be taken while cutting the seam so that the sheet does not break or crack. After cutting the required hole in the sheet, the former or the dummy tube is slided through the hole to check whether it passes with ease. If not, the jigsaw or sandpaper or a file may be used to smoothen the edges so that the former or dummy tube fits well. Now the dome is slided through the hole in the sheet and kept in a position so that the joint between the upper dome and the PVC pipe is 3 inches above the sheet. The rooftop and the dome is now to be wiped and dusted properly before applying any sealer. A layer of beta seal U418 sealant 
is applied with a glue band on the joint between the PVC pipe and the roof of sheet. Care should be taken that the layer is uniform and seals all of the gaps. If needed, the layers may be smoothened with the help of the fingers. The sealant is left to dry for 60 minutes. After that, the protective layer of the internal reflector is removed, opening the lower dome cover. The lower dome cover is put back in position after that and the lighter hole is now ready for use. The utility of the microsolar dome has increased today. It is evident from the smiles of the young faces how happy the outreach of the microsolar dome has created a major change in men's lives today.